Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Cavity liners serve at least one of the following three major purposes. One, as a protective barrier between the dentin and the restorative material. Two, to help minimize the penetration of oral fluids at the margins of cavity preparations. And three, to provide some therapeutic benefit to the pulp. Cavity liners are normally found in two different forms. Liquid, which is normally some form of cavity varnish. and cream-like form, which usually consists of two types of material, a catalyst and a base. Three cavity liners most commonly used at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry are copolite, a cavity varnish, dical, a calcium hydroxide liner, and cavitec, a zinc oxide eugenol containing liner. If a cavity liner is necessary, the type of liner used is determined by the depth of the cavity preparation. Normally, a cavity varnish is placed in all cavity preparations to prevent marginal leakage and to reduce thermal shock. Varnish on the enamel walls and margins of cavity preparations, when applied in thin layers, appears to aid in preventing the penetration of oral fluids. To apply copolite, insert a clean cotton pellet into a pair of locked forceps as has been done here and place the pellet into the bottle of copolite. Blot well to remove any excess and the varnish is then ready to be applied to the cavity preparation. Dical, a calcium hydroxide material, is used when there is a pulp exposure in a cavity preparation. It is usually followed by a zinc oxide eugenol material to provide a thickness of material to withstand forces incident to insertion of the restorative material. Calcium hydroxide appears to aid in the formation of secondary dentin. To apply dical, dispense equal lengths of both the base and catalyst paste upon the paper mixing pad. Usually a two millimeter mound is sufficient for most procedures. Remember to squeeze from the bottom of each tube while dispensing and wipe the tube orifice before closing. Always return caps to the proper tubes which are color coded for this purpose. The dical is now ready to be mixed. Using a caulk applicator, mix the materials as quickly as possible during a 10 second interval, blending them to an even consistency. After wiping the applicator tip with a clean gauze square, the dical is ready to hand to the operator, who will in turn apply to the cavity preparation. Cavitec, like Dical, consists of two tubes of material, a catalyst and a base. It is mixed in exactly the same manner. Equal lengths of each material mixed for approximately a 10 second interval until of an even consistency. Here too, care should be taken to squeeze the tubes from the base of the tube, wipe the tube orifice before closing, and return the caps to the proper tubes. The ease of dispensing, mixing, and applying these cavity liners makes them a convenience for many operators and their assistants and accounts for their widespread use. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. 
For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.